Mixed reaction tonight following the passage of a bill aimed at reducing the state's municipal retirement deficit. Both the House and the Senate are considering a scaled back version of the original package. The biggest difference? The removal of a proposal allowing a state appointed emergency management team. The team would have been able to make changes to municipal retiree benefits and collective bargaining agreements. For that reason, unions representing first responders are now on board with the bills. The Labor Management Coalition of Michigan Police Officers and Firefighters says the legislation, quote, protects the financial stability of our communities while honoring the promise to fund health care and pension benefits. But not everyone is happy. The Michigan Association of Counties says the legislation is a bare minimum effort on solving the problem and fell short of the mark. The Michigan Municipal League calls the passage a colossal missed opportunity, leaving many communities with an unsolvable fiscal problem. The new legislation still includes a proposal requiring communities to report their retiree benefit plans to the state and a panel will be created to review those finances. Either the House or the Senate will have to vote again next week to send the package to the governor's desk. About $18 billion worth of municipal retirement benefits are unfunded right now, with about $9 billion of that going to retiree health care.